Hi, I'm Reverend Don Lynn, and I'm preparing for the first Psychic Fair of 2015. What does that mean? Well, that means that I'm taking some time to rest, recuperate, and get myself ready as my waiting room begins to fill up. What does that mean? That means that all your loved ones are already showing up. You may have seen it on Facebook when I've stated that. It's because they do. They're just excited as you are. They're just excited as I am. They know that the psychic fair is coming, so they're waiting to speak to me to speak to you. That being said, I'm also trying to kick back and relax and rest and get some sleep. I might give myself a manicure. I might give myself a pedicure and pamper myself just a little bit because it's going to be a marathon reading weekend. It always is. That being said, what can you do to prepare for the psychic fair? Well, what you can do is first off decide whether or not you are wanting to connect with a loved one or you're wanting to get advice. Or you might be wanting to get both. So this is what you can do for each one of those. If you're looking to connect with a loved one, my recommendation is to tell them. Speak it out loud, think it in your mind, but decide who you want to come through. They may or may not show up, but you're more likely for them to show up if you're thinking about them beforehand. It's leaving a message so that they don't dawdle and they show up right away. Also what you can do is perhaps bring a photo of them, bring an item of theirs, so that you have something of theirs and that can help the reader make a connection. It also reinforces the idea that you want them to show up and it can again get that person to come through much quicker. You only have 15 to 30 minutes with the reader, so you want to get things out as quickly as possible. Not looking for a loved one to show up? You want to get some advice about 2015? Think of your questions ahead of time. That question that you have, if you're telling your guide what you want to hear about, they'll know to answer that question as opposed to what they think might be important. Because what you think is important and what your guides think is important aren't always on the same line. They usually are, but sometimes they're not. So think of that question ahead of time. It also helps the reader because some readers will ask you, what do you want to talk about? They know as well as you do that there's a very short amount of time to answer as many questions as you have as possible. So that's some of the things that you can do. What else can you do? You may want to check out the website. See who, what readers are going to be there. Who's going to be there, who you want to see. Read their websites. And if you do decide before you get there who you want to see, reach out to them. They might take pre-books and that could really minimize your weight. If you don't know who you want to see and you want to kind of feel people out in person, I recommend you get there early. Why? Readers fill up really quickly. I know sometimes some of my clients, they can have a two to three hour wait just to see me. We all have a lot going on and you may not want to be waiting around for that long. And you may go to a reader who you don't really feel or jive with just because they have a shorter wait and you may be more disappointed than you would like to be. And it's a lot of money to spend to be disappointed. So that being said, get there early, feel things out, sign up, pre-book, and check out your readers. I hope to see you at the fair this weekend. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you are as well. See you there and happy 2015.